What's up guys, Hill and enjoying Aviators and the Superman hat bringing you another episode of the Fight Like web series here on the Modern Ninja channel and hang on, it is way too out out here, we need to go inside. Alright, so guys, I gotta be real, it's hot outside. It is like, I'm no kidding, it feels like 105 degrees. I think that's what the the uh, weather says right now. But anyway, so we are gonna be bringing in my personal favorite show uh, in the world. Like, it is by far my favorite. We're gonna bring it, be bringing in the first of at least four, maybe five or six episodes. But... Avatar The Last Airbender, starting off with airbending. Air is the element of freedom. The air nomads detached themselves from worldly concerns and found peace and freedom. Alright, so the main things you're gonna want to know when trying to learn how to fight like an airbender or training to fight like an airbender is you're gonna want to know your motion you gotta have to stay in motion and learn how to stay in motion so you don't become super tired and waste your energy uh your evasion skills you're gonna have to be able to not only block but just completely get out of the way of certain attacks your fluidity as a as a person you have to be very fluid it's funny because we're not talking about water yet, but uh, you have to be very fluid in your motions and not super jumpy. But you also have to be able to use that fluidity in your rapid change in motion. So you have to be fluid and change your motion rapidly, which can be a challenge um, for those of you just starting off at learning. And lastly is your defensive posture, whether it's uh, your your offensive moves, your defensive moves, your stance in general, all of it has to be in a defensive posture, a um, pacifistic posture. I don't even know if that's a word, but we're going to go with it. So as some of you may know, uh, Avatar, the creators of Avatar, mimicked airbending based on the the martial arts, the real life martial arts of Bagua. Now it's not perfect. There are definitely some uh, changes in from the you know the art to the show. There are definitely some changes, and that's why I'm doing this video here uh, instead of just saying you know go learn Bagua. But the biggest things that Bagua has are the large circular motions that the Airbenders use. Almost every single technique an Airbender uses is basically a circle, whether it's um, the funnel that Aang used to launch rocks at people in the first season or the the air scooter that Aang rides in literally almost every season. I'm pretty sure it's every season. So all of those things are based on circles. Even their bow staff techniques are based on large sweeping circles and strikes like that. It is very rare, not, un, not you know, like never, it doesn't never happen, but it's very rare for... Uh, direct stabs or straight punches to be used by airbenders simply because well one <laughs> they're pacifists and not trying to fight and two they use circles almost all the time and so that's something you have to keep in mind so when you're using and practicing your motion as you know as a person as a martial artist your motion has to be in that circle formation staying using those circles to move around techniques instead of just you know head on taking it like something like you know other styles or other forms of martial arts now airbenders also have to be very fluid in their motion so you can't be ch choppy you can't like move from point a to point b and stop that's not how this martial art works every motion is is the beginning of the next one so um as you do a motion it becomes your next move whether it's a push or an evade or uh, a block of some sort whatever that is the last part of your first of your you know your technique becomes the first part of your next technique and so on and so on so you get this continuous stream of uh techniques that basically never end it's like a long move made up of a bunch of different moves that just intertwine with each other if that makes sense if it doesn't let me know down in the comments and i'll you know try to go into more detail about that 
Now, rapid change is kind of a difficult one to kind of explain and probably even to get your mind wrapped around, but there's a episode in The Legend of Korra, actually, that, display, that displays this perfectly. Uh, in the episode, Tenzin has uh, Katara, or Korra, I'm sorry, my bad, has Korra going through uh, these, basically these sm small, thin walls that spin. And in order to get through, you have to be the leaf and be able to go with the wind and change your motion and fit the situation as it happens. Cause you know, they all spin at different speeds. They all spin, you know, maybe different ways. And so you have to be able to redirect your motion, redirect your energy to be able to go through that pattern. And that's what Korra had to learn in the episode. The key is to be like the leaf. Flow with the movement of the gates. Jinora will demonstrate. Airbending is all about spiral movements. When you meet resistance, you must be able to switch direction at a moment's notice. If you're being punched at over and over and over, you have to be able to fluidly but quickly change your position, change your motion so that you can evade and weave and um, psych out those hits because that's what's gonna allow you to uh, stay unhit because airbenders aren't, you know, tanks. They're not gonna be, they're not designed, they're not built to take a lot of hits. They're not built for fighting, they're peaceful people. And so uh, instead they are built to avoid all contact, avoid all hits, avoid all attacks. And so when you're avoiding someone's punches, kind of like, um, I think it was Tyson or Ali, no, I think it was Ali, in that boxing round where he dodges like 20 punches or something. I'll have that in the video somewhere around here. But that's what you have to be able to do, be able to quickly and efficiently and fluidly avoid punches with you know your face your body your entire body not just your head your entire body has to move out of the way of punches kicks and other you know different types of attacks now uh you'll see more of this uh last one of the defensive posture as i go into the next part of the video where we talk and i show you some techniques that you can learn at your house but uh a lot of those things are going to be defense related so um, it's not gonna be, you know, breaking ribs and breaking noses and like in the Red Hood, you just like cap people. That's not gonna happen. That's not what airbenders are about. And so it's gonna be about evading and creating peace, getting some peace. And so you're not gonna be uh, too much conflict. And so a big part of that is even when you're taking your fighting stance, you're getting ready for that combat, you, your hands are open. You're, they're open and the palms are away trying to show that, hey, I don't want to fight. We're not, I'm not trying to fight with you. And so that is kind of where you all start. You start with your open hands, palms facing away, trying to calm down the situation. And, um, Maybe backing up at first, but using that retreating, uh, the retreat motion to either bring them in closer or to try to get distance between you and your opponent because the closer they are to you, the more likely you are to get hit. And we already talked about not trying to get hit as airbenders. So uh, just keep that in mind when I do these techniques coming up in this next part of this video. I am always trying to be defensive and I think that's better in you know a lot of different ways for many other reasons. I take that part of airmaning and put it into my personal fighting style, uh, which I can go over later if you guys really want to know what my personal fighting style is. Uh, but for now, we're going into the next part of this video where I go outside in the heat and take you through some airbending techniques. So let's go. All right, so we are now out here. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> we are out here about to record the combat part of the fight like the avatar or fight like the airbender, I guess, uh, episode right now. You done? You're kind of throwing me off my game. I'm supposed to be comedian. That's what this is. You like the real person. I'm like the comedian. I add like... See, this is why I get him. I get to hit him. So anyway, we're gonna go with the first technique here. <clears throat> so again, like I said earlier, open hands, trying not to fight. But let's say he really wants to, and he's gonna throw that double, double hook, trying to hit me. Is that your fighting stance? You square up like this? I don't. That's terrible. Take like one foot back. You did karate. 
What is wrong? <laughs> Look, I was like eight. All right, let's go. Let's go. So you're gonna throw that double hook. Ready? All right. So first one, you, you good? You good? Okay, let's go. Slow first, so that I can show them what we're doing. Ready? Go. Making me look stupid. So you're gonna again, just like airbenders. Go ahead. Gonna. Is that punching at me? Okay. Slowly, just punch at me. <laughs> just do that, but oh, slow. That's good. Okay. Ready? Go. So you're gonna evade, and the other one. Evade, coming around, pushing that shoulder or that upper arm, and then pushing them back. Just like um, that evasion that you see in Avatar in the uh, the boat scene where Zuko first uh, captures. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's in that scene. I'll find out what later. But, so one more time, going slow, you're gonna do that punch at me. There you go. There you go. Again, using that fluid motion to quickly get out of the way. So, doing it full speed. You ready? There we go. Now you got it. Okay, good. I feel so bad doing He has to learn how to hit me, guys. He needs to watch these videos, I'm telling you. This one's gonna be if that he's holding me and they're trying to catch you. Now, again, this shouldn't happen because as an airbender, you shouldn't be caught. But, no one's perfect. If you do get caught, here's what you can do. So, up and under. So one is gonna go up, the other is gonna go under. And then you're going to bring your hands together in that circular motion and pull them apart, going at the wrist. So one more time, watch. Right hand, for me, I'm gonna use my right hand. Right hand up, left hand underneath. Both come inside in between the arms, right where the wrists are. And you're going to keep that motion going all the way around. One more time. It looks like that. Now, you can't just sit here with him here. So, again, just like, I think this is mimicking the uh, time Aang makes like a funnel and shoots rocks at people. Make, makes them that funnel and pushing them back. So, one more time. Making this funnel and pushing them back. Actually, I lied. This is the last time. This is the last time. Ready? What the heck? Just like that. <laughs> You said you were pushing that hard. <laughs> so here we go. The last, uh, the, you go to push. Uh, the last one I'm gonna use him on for at least is gonna be a kick. So let's back up a little bit. So for this, you're gonna take that leg, the leg closer to the camera so they can see it best, and you're gonna kick at me just like a Spartan kick, just bang, just 300 me down to a cliff. So what we're gonna do is use that momentum, use that spinning um, motion, the spinning body motion to get behind him and get him where we want him to go. So watch nice and slow so they can see. We're going to block that kick and you're gonna drag it forward just a little bit as you block it. As you drag it forward, you spin behind and that right hand is gonna wrap around the back of the neck. Now, this doesn't go into one of these. You shouldn't be that close. You should be using that wrist to control where his body goes. And then you sink your weight backwards Okay, remember we're friendly. And drag him to the ground. I'm not gonna drag him to the ground because he asked me earlier not to drag him to the ground. So I'm gonna do that. But if I didn't care about what he thought, I would just throw him on the ground. So here we go. Here we go. Ready? So you're gonna kick at me. Go. Like rusty? Slow, slow for okay. first. Pulling that through, spinning behind, right hand wrapping around the head, and dragging him to the ground just like that. So for full speed, I want to get a different angle. So this is going to be real speed. I wanted to get my sister record so you can get a better angle and better view of what I'm doing. So full speed, you ready? All right. Go for it. What the <laughs> I told you. Just like that. That was I'm good. So you. That was really good. <laughs> All right, so now that my brother's gone, we got that funny part of the video out the way. We're going to do a bow staff technique because what would I do what would I be if I didn't teach you a bow staff drill in the air bender uh, category of the fight like video? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a basic kind of, well, a more intermediate, I guess, technique. And if you wanna learn more basic stuff for the bow staff to get your, uh, get your grounds in it, definitely check out my, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Check out my combat for dummies where I go over a bunch of uh, combat bow staff techniques and some bow staff tricks as well. So if that interests you, definitely check that out. So uh, here we go. We're gonna do our figure eight, our speed figure eight, which is gonna be both hands 
face in the same direction, so thumbs facing up. And you're gonna do the first part of your figure eight on the right side, just like this. You're gonna start off just like this. If you need more information on the figure eight, again, go check out the Combat for Dummies episodes. I'll leave links in the description if you need it. So once you have your first half of it going through, once you get one full figure eight in, you spin it up and uppercut on the opposite side. So one power uppercut. Now, once you're here, you turn your right hand over and grab the outside of the, uh, grab the top end of the bow staff. I don't know why I said outside. It's hot guys, give me a break. So you're gonna spin that. Strike one around, strike two, and then you're going to toss it up to your shoulder to, re to return back to your right hand. So once you're here, turn the hand over, one, two, up to your shoulder, and return, just like that. So all together, it's gonna be figure eight, uppercut, one, two, up, and return, just like that. So again, at a different angle, bang, one, two, up, and return to your hand, just like that. So all together with some speed, it's gonna be bang, just like that. So uh, Michael got me back, <laughs> MJ got me back. He, uh, he locked me outside. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. It got a little bit crazier than I expected it to, but maybe that's a good thing. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, Avatar is one of my favorite shows. I think it is my absolute favorite show. So I will definitely be doing more videos covering different elements and maybe even chi blocking and some other stuff down the line. But if you want to know about all that stuff and know when I post all that stuff, definitely hit that subscribe button because there is no better way to be told about my videos than if you are subscribed to me. Actually, I lied. The one better way is if you also hit that notification button. So while you're subscribing, just hit that notification button. It's just like right next to it. No problem at all. So thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you very much for joining my notification squad. And if you like this video, let me know down in the comments or leave a like, both work. So until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out. It's time to go get something to drink.